Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, DwyerSportsBetting.com. For premium picks, look us up in the sports section on Roku. We're there, Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. I've received a lot of feedback from a lot of people who are very panicked right now about the fluctuating market price of Bitcoin. They want to know whether or not I still believe or recommend uh, in Bitcoin as an investment. Today is April 11th, 2014. Let me be as clear as I can be. In my opinion, Bitcoin is a better investment than any sports bet I can recommend. You're talking about superior technology. The superiority continues to exist. You're going to have short-term price fluctuations. You always do with nascent technology. But make no mistake that Bitcoin allows you to do things for which there is great demand at reduced transaction costs. Right? There are literally billions of dollars every day of financial transactions circulating the globe. People are receiving and transporting money. The banking sector is based on the ability to transport and receive money. Right now people are paying much more than they would pay to transport and receive money had they been using Bitcoin. Right? Bitcoin has a structural advantage, much lower costs than present technology for essential financial transactions. <clears throat> so it's not a Ponzi scheme, it's a technological breakthrough. Also, I know there are a lot of alt currencies out there, right? Every day it seems a new sovereign currency pops up. Understand only Bitcoin has first mover status. Right? Bitcoin right now, as I make this video, according to CoinMarketCap.com, has a market cap of greater than two and a half times that of the second place alt currency. Understand too, Bitcoin has certain structural advantages. It has a built-in limited supply. There are only going to be something like 21 million bitcoins that ever get minted. Now contrast that with many of these other currencies, Dogecoin for example, that already are well past that total number in circulation. Right? In other words, Bitcoin has limited supply. It's more built to retain value than many of these other alt currencies. Also understand too that Bitcoin is in heavy use. According to CoinMarketCap.com, in the last 24 hours, Bitcoin has been involved in more than $84 million worth of transactions. So what you have right now is really the first half of the first inning of a technological breakthrough. Right, I'll agree Bitcoin is clunkier than MaxCoin, but understand again, Bitcoin is much more widely used. Bitcoin, of course, first mover status, is going to be the first cryptocurrency accepted by most vendors when they move in that direction. Right? Let me say to those two who want to compare and contrast Bitcoin to the current fiat currency system, let me just say if both digital currency and paper fiat currency were released at the same time, it would be clear that cryptocurrency with a blockchain and with transactions that you can verify would be vastly superior to clunky paper fiat currency. Let me point out too that neither of them is backed by gold. 
right? For those of you thinking otherwise in the United States, understand we've been off of the gold standard since the Nixon administration in the early 1970s, right? So the arguments that cryptocurrency somehow has have less legitimacy than paper fiat currency, which is being printed and created out of thin air, really ignores, in my opinion, reality. So, if you're one of the fortunate to get into crypt, uh, to Bitcoin here, and the current price is a little bit north of $400, consider yourself lucky. Understand, as these cryptocurrencies continue to be more broadly adopted, you're going to have a situation where they start to ramp up because, of course, the, the number of financial transactions in the world aren't decreasing. They're increasing as cryptocurrencies get a greater percentage of the volume of these financial transactions. You're going to necessarily see prices rise for cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin that have a limited supply. If you're thinking about buying a cryptocurrency, let me just say what you want to do is you want to consider, number one, whether it's used. Look at the volume as listed on websites like CoinMarketCap.com. You also want to consider whether the supply is limited. You don't want, just like you don't want, in my opinion, diluted paper currency, right? You don't want diluted cryptocurrency. Just understand that there are several cryptocurrencies out there that have limited supplies, right? Bitcoin right now has a total supply of about 12.6 million. In other words, it already is at greater than half of the 21 million dollars supply cap on that currency right it's not gonna grow by leaps and bounds supply wise like let's say the US dollar is going to grow in the next two years right it's going to retain value as it gains market share just something to think about so compare and contrast bitcoins total supply so let's say the total supply of marine coin and the total supply of dogecoin once you do that and once you also look at the degree to which they're used the volume over the last 24 hours i believe the answer to the question of which is the superior investment will become painfully obvious so i continue to be a big believer and investor in bitcoin i hope you give it a look if you hear in the coming months that more and more uh, socially prominent retailers, let's say an Amazon.com, starts to accept Bitcoin, right? If you start to hear that the degree to which Bitcoin is used as measured by the volume continues to increase, right? Then you'll realize what this technology is all about. It is simply put the cheapest way to send money from here to there. That has market value. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Feel free to ask more questions about cryptocurrencies. Again, understand a Ponzi scheme is something like Social Security. Right? Take money from Paul to pay Peter. That has absolutely no relevance in a conversation about disruptive breakthrough technologies right calling Bitcoin a Ponzi scheme is as silly as let's say calling a mobile phone a Ponzi scheme or calling the internet a Ponzi scheme or calling a car a Ponzi scheme new breakthrough technology that delivers essential services at cheaper prices is an advancement not a Ponzi scheme thanks for stopping by